Hello, welcome back. In the first video on chemotherapy, we looked at various uh, aspects of chemotherapy, where it is given, in which diseases is it effective, and what are the side effects, and how do we take care and control those side effects. Now, today we will address another question with regard to chemotherapy. What is the dose? What should be the right dose? How frequently should chemotherapy be given? What should be the interval between doses? And is this something like a heavy dose or a light dose? We will try to address all those issues in today's video. Let's begin. Now, you know, what with any other treatment like dose is important for the treatment of cancer. Why is that? This is because if we give them a low dose, it will be ineffective. It will not take care of all the cancer cells and the cancer will not go away. Or if it goes away, it will come back sometime down the line, maybe a year or two years or three years from the treatment. A high dose on the other hand will lead to unnecessary side effects. So that also needs to be avoided. But for good long term results we require the optimum dose of treatment and that is always calculated very precisely. And that is why we always stress that we really need to calculate the dose for each patient specifically because each patient is different therefore the dose calculation takes into account the height and weight of the patient whether the patient has proper liver function kidney function and blood counts and then the protocol is decided the what drug to be given what is the combination of drugs to be given is decided as per the individual cancer that the patient has. So this is how the dose, the quantity of the dose and the drug which is to be given is then decided and given. Now coming to another aspect, what should be the interval between two doses of chemotherapy? Frequently we have patients which come to us and they tell us, okay, we have taken this dose of treatment. For the next dose, can we come like maybe a week in delay or maybe 10 days afterwards? You know, we have a wedding in the family, we have examination or uh, something or the other is there reason to delay the next dose. And sometimes there is no reason and they ask just to delay because they want to enjoy a, a larger interval of time before doses. So to answer that question, let us look at this Norton, Norton Simon hypothesis. This was a very nice model uh, which was developed and this is how it works. Say for example, we have a standard regimen of treatment where we have doses interval at 21 days. In this scheme of things, the first dose is given, the cancer cells go down but before the second dose is due, the cells start to regrow. Not to the original extent, but still to some extent. And then another dose is given and the cancer cells again go down. But before the third dose, again they grow. And similarly for the fourth dose and the fifth and the sixth or whatever the number of doses that we give. But finally what happens? The patient finishes the treatment he is sent home happily, but after some time, the remaining cells then regrow, multiply exponentially and then over a period of time, the cancer comes back in full force. That is a bad outcome. But what happens if we decrease the interval of these doses to 14 days rather than 21 days? In this case, you see that the cancer cells go down but they don't have time to come up. The second dose is given, then they go down and then the third dose is given and so on. 
So finally, when the whole treatment is over, the cancer cells are completely or almost completely destroyed and the cancer does not grow back. And therefore, we started to use these dose dense regimens where the dosage is given frequently, more frequently than the standard interval. And in all our patients, young patients with breast cancer especially, we give a dose dense regimen and that is the standard of treatment in most centers all over the world so that the long term control of the disease is not compromised. So this is why we have to understand that the interval of the treatment is extremely important for the long term outcome in the um, patient as well as the dose of the uh, treatment is also very important and it is calculated scientifically accurately and there is no such thing as a heavy dose or a light dose. It is the optimum dose which should be given. So that was all about the dosage of chemotherapy, how chemotherapy should be given, what interval is important and what are the things to look for. We will continue this series on other aspects of chemotherapy in future videos. Till then, thank you, bye bye and take care of yourself.